world-class garden, look at it, it doesn't get much better than this. In a world-class glass house with a collection of plants, looking at exotic butterflies that perhaps people wouldn't get up close and personal to normally. And also taking away butterfly conservation, teaching people how to perhaps attract native species to their own garden. We love butterflies! There are butterfly houses and there are other butterfly events, but if you can't actually see them up close then there's no point really. This way you can appreciate them right in your face as it were and you can, yeah, you can touch them, you can hold them and they'll even fly onto you. So much of our lives now at the minute is internet and cities and urbanized and we're not necessarily going back to ground roots so whenever you're interacting at a, at a physical level with things like this it's much more felt as a person than simply interacting with your head online or reading a book. There's a whole myriad of information you can get from events such as this. We have many information panels and staff on hand that could advise and discuss issues and, and people can always learn, especially young children. Grandchildren, I think, because I like all the little notices that you have around. Well, it's very tropical <laughs> and um, it's just really interesting. There's just so much to see. It's really nice. There's a lot of different butterflies and it's very enlightening. For me, I would hope they take a, a sense of fun, a sense of maybe inspiration at nature, maybe a sense of excitement, maybe a little bit of joy because, you know, at this time of year, we could all do a little bit of pickup. I'm personally passionate about biodiversity, as is the RHS, and educating people on how to do things such as butterfly conservation, etc. I think it's hugely important. Mm -hmm. 